Hello, so today we'll be doing a top 10 best tanks in tank, and we're going to start off with the M36 Jackson. Now, why is this tank 10th place? Well, it doesn't have a very good gun. It's only a 90mm gun, and uh, its penetration is pretty dark. It's really bad penetration. Doesn't have the DPM. It has the speed, the armor's crap, and the health pool is garbage. This is why this tank is at my, my number 10, and I absolutely hate this machine. Sitting at number 9 is the M48A1 panel. Now you may be asking me why is this tank so low in the top 10 best tanks? Well, first of all, it has the slowest rate of fire out of all the high tier medium tanks. Second of all, its armor is not good. It doesn't have very good armor. Third of all, its gun, even though it's got good alpha damage, it doesn't have the best alpha damage, not like the E50 or the STB1. Also, it's not the, f the quickest. It's actually one of the slowest, if not the slowest, out of the high tier medium tanks. So this is why this tank is at number 9. Sitting at number 8 is the good old IS-3. Now, even though this tank has a lot of armor and a lot of hit points, it's not the fastest machine. And also, even though it has a 122mm boomstick, it doesn't have the reload. This reload is incredibly long and it will get you into big situations. The other thing why this tank is at my number 8 place is because it gets tracked very, very easily. You shoot this in the trap once, it will track it. You can keep this thing trapped. This is why this is at my number 8, and I do not recommend this vehicle. Set at number 7 is the RU-251. Before the RU-251 got a turret first nerf, it would have probably sat at number 5. But ever since the turret first nerf, this tank has been found in it very, very hard to brawl. This is why this tank sits at number 7. Also, the reason why it sits at number 7 is because even though it's got a hard hit and 90mm gun, it doesn't have the raw DPM because of its long reload. Now normally with a long rear of 9mm gun, it can cause you some serious problems. Now if this tank wasn't quick enough, if it didn't have the speed, this would probably be number 10. But because this is a light tank with a 9mm gun, um, this sits at number 7 because it can do... 70 coins an hour, but it doesn't have a very good acceleration rate. If it had a very good acceleration rate, it would probably sit around number 6. Sitting at number 6 will be the AMX 1375. The reason why this tank sits at number 6 is because it's a rare tank that you find on the battlefield. It's a four shot ore loader, 75mm gun. <laughs> but the downside of this tank is it doesn't have a lot of health. It's actually one of the, mer or of the least healthiest out of the tier 4 light tanks. Now, its big brother, the MX 1390, is a lot better. This tank also doesn't have the speed, so this is why this tank sits at number 6. Sitting at number 5, we can find the good old seal clubbing tank of the old days of tanking. The very 
well-known E50. This tank has a 10.5 cm or 105 mm main armament Type B barrel, able to do dish out 440 alpha damage shot. The reload is long, but the alpha damage is raw. Also, this tank is fast. At 60 km an hour, you can get around quite easily with this tank, but don't be fooled because its armor it will not block many shots. Sitting at number 4, you can find this machine the good old Lutch 30mm. This old cannon is able to dish out enough damage to basically cause a lot of confusion in the enemy team. If you use this thing, they won't know what hit them. Bear in mind, this is a 30mm oil cannon, so you have enough shots to deal with any small or low health target. Like this Hetzer. Once you put enough rounds into it, you need to reload. Your reload is not that slow, but it's slow enough to get you into trouble. Number 3 is going to be the AMX 1390. This is a fairly good tank. It's got a 9mm gun, as it says in the game, the AMX 1390, just like the AMX 1375. It's quicker, got one more shell, does reload slower, but it does have a higher damage per minute. The same penetration, 200 millimeters, but this auto-loading nightmare can give the enemy team one hell of a problem. At number two, we can find a tank that not a lot of people actually like. The good old Indian Panzer. This tank most likely has the highest penetrating gun in the game, with an outstanding 288mm of penetration. You will go through anything except the Conqueror's whole armor. Now with the Indian Panzer's 90mm long barreled main armor gun, don't be fooled by its quite amazing damage per minute. At 1900 damage per minute, you may think, oh this probably has a very quick reload. Don't be fooled, the reload is not that good. At a pretty bad eight and a half second reload you cannot rule this machine and uh, number one is a tank that I believe is probably the best tank in your in uh, tank room. the T62A is a good all round tank it's got a good gun it's got okay armor Got okay speed, okay health, well, more than okay health, it's got brilliant health. And so, some of you may be thinking, why do you not put Super Sherman, the M60 Super Sherman, as number one? Well, that's because I think this M60 Super Sherman is ridiculously overpowered and needs to be changed. That's why I have not put the Super Sherman in this list. Thank you guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, and put in the comment section what you think about the tank lineup I did.